guys, welcome to Zenematics. Welcome to another video of the series where we're we are going to do really difficult questions till your exam day. So let's start with today's question. Today's question is from a P3 chapter logarithms. And this appeared in 2019 Cambridge exam. So let's first look at the question. I would want that you guys stop the video after having a look at the question. Try it yourself and then look the solution. And let's start with that. I'll show you what the problem was. So the question is log of natural log of 1 plus e raised to the power 2x is equal to x. And what we have to do, e raised to the power 2y. I'm sorry. So natural log of 1 plus e raised to the power 2y is equal to x. And the requirement is that you have to express y in terms of x. So we have to make y the subject of this equation. And uh, this is a little bit tricky for many people. So I want you guys to pause the video right here, give it to try yourself, and then start the video. All right. So for those of you who have already tried this video, uh, this question, uh, and our successful congratulations. And for those of you who are unable to solve this, let's have a look at the solution. The main idea starts from uh, the fact that we have a singular term on both sides and we have logarithm on one side, but there is no logarithm on the other side. So the first step that we are going to do is we're going to remove this logarithm. We know that the base for a natural logarithm is always E. Let's send this E over to the other side and send that number into the power. So we, we are left with 1 plus e raised to the power 2y will give us e raised to the power x. Now, if we want to make y subject, we're going to move 1 to the right-hand side of the equation. So e raised to the power 2y would become e raised to the power x minus 1. Now, to get rid of this e, we're going to introduce logarithm on both sides. So let's introduce natural logarithm on both sides. Be careful that on the right hand side there are two terms and both of them will come under the argument of, the, of a singular logarithm. And please remember that we cannot open this logarithm into two separate logarithms. Let's use a power rule to bring 2y two uh, before this term. So this will become 2y log of e is equals to log of e raised to the power x minus 1. We know for a fact that log of e, natural log of e, will become 1. And the term that we are left with on left hand side will be 2y is equal to log of e raised to the power x minus 1. Let's shift this to, to the other side and it will become y is equal to 1 over 2 log of e raised to the power x minus 1. So this is the final answer. There is one more equivalent form that is acceptable for this answer. I'll just show you if we can reach there in a couple of steps. For instance, if somebody solves it a little bit further, they can shift this 1 over 2 to the power using the power rule in logarithms. And they can end up with a term like log of e raised to power x minus 1, cool to the power 1 by 2. And later on, we can use the fact that power 1 by 2 is equivalent to a square root. And you can also write your final answer as log of square root of e raised to the power x minus 1. Both of these terms are equivalent form, considered equivalent forms of each other. So if you're ending at any one of these, it would be considered a correct answer. So this is the final answer for uh, this question. You can choose to stop right here if you have arrived to this place. But if you have reached this answer, this is considered an equivalent form as well. So this was the question for today. I hope you have understood it well. If you have liked the video, please share it with other people. If you have any requests for any particular questions, leave us a comment below. And I'll see you in the next video. Goodbye. Thank you.